everybody so today i am back in my bathroom filming a video and this week is revision week and actually i have been putting off this week for so long because i wanted to film a revision week but then at the same time i didn't because it's going to take me well it has taken me so much effort to plan them and to actually film them and edit them it's going to be not fun today is sunday these videos i am planning to get up tomorrow and then the rest of the day for seven days so i've got seven videos to film today and then i've got a video to edit each day so this is going to be a lot of fun for me not um but you know i do like filming but you know um and it's quite ironic how i'm filming videos about revision and make sure you revise and have a lot of time for revision yet i am going to be spending a lot of time editing this video but don't worry I will make sure that I do revision as well. Um, I'm just going to try and do this in my like free time. But basically the first video that I wanted to film was about exam stress, how to deal with exams. I thought this was kind of like a chatty one to get the week started. Every single video that I upload this week is not going to be relevant to everyone because some of them are very specific to like certain subjects and some of them are quite broad but today's is GCSEs, A levels, any kind of exam that you want to sit, how to deal with the stresses of it and yeah I think that's about it really. So let's get into the video. So sorry if I'm looking down quite a lot it's because I have my laptop with all my notes written in front of me. So my first tip would be to plan your revision timetable early so that you know what is to be done every day and how much time you have to do everything in. I was putting off doing a revision timetable for so long because I knew it ne needed to, I knew it needed to be done but I just didn't want to do it because I didn't know where to start. Like when you're doing a revision timetable, there's so much to plan that you just don't have a clue where to start. And I was just like, oh my God, like, I don't know what to do. Um, I tried, um, well, I am gonna be making a whole video on how to make a revision timetable or how I made one because I really did struggle to make one. And then now I'm incredibly happy with what I've done. So in the week coming up, maybe even tomorrow there'll be a video on how I made my revision timetable um but make it even if you think oh it's too late to make one now just make one because it just means that you know exactly what has to be done when you have a complete like in your head you will know that it's all under control you won't have this panic of kind of stress in your head because it will all be written out on paper and you'll just be able to see what you have to do and if you get behind on your timetable of course you might become a bit stressed but you can kind of like try and fix that yourself you know if you hadn't written a revision timetable you wouldn't really know what you have to do or anything like that and it will just be all kind of piled up in your head and it's it's not fun Okay, my next one is to buy any books you need ready for revision early. So make sure you buy your books. Um, the school have given me some books, which are quite big, um, but I want the revision guide books. So I have bought the CGP uh, revision guide books. I would show you them, but they're downstairs. Um, I'll have to get them anyway for a later video, but I'm kind of chill right now. Um, but anyway, get your revision guide books. I really am loving revision guides right now because I've got to the stage where it's too late for me to revise from the actual book. I have to use the revision guides. And since using them, I've understood things that I've not understood before from the book. Um, they word it differently, so it kind of makes a bit more sense. But make sure, even if you think, oh, I don't want to spend like 10 pounds on a book or whatever, just do it because it is, trust me, worth it. Um, look on eBay because eBay sells loads. I bought um, mine from eBay and there's obviously Amazon, stuff like that. Okay, my third point is to keep all the notes that you'll be um, using tidy and organised and do this early on. So if you are going to be revising from your notes, I personally never ever revise from my notes um, apart from maths, um, which is really bad of course, but I just don't. I don't, that doesn't work for me. That's not what I do. I don't make good notes basically so I don't revise from them but if you do make sure you organize your notes chronologically so that you know exactly what comes when and you've got it all kind of planned out 
early, even way before you're about to start revising, it just means that, you, that your head is gonna be all nice and clear, you're not gonna be stressed, and when you come to go through those notes, you're not gonna be thinking, okay, I have to organize them first because they'll already be organized. And trust me, it doesn't take as long as you would think. Um, plan what you need to do every day. Not specific, just roughly the timings of revision and it doesn't have to be specific to each subject. So I, what I like to do is kind of roughly plan what I want to get done every single day on my revision timetable. Um, it, it is a weekly thing rather than a daily thing. So every day I will kind of roughly plan what subjects I want to do each day. And the reason why I like this method is because it's not a specific thing. It's like I don't say, oh, 20 minutes chemistry, 10 mi um, and then I'm gonna do 20 minutes biology, and then I have to do 20 minutes of core three maths. It's not like that at all. What I actually do is I say, right, I've got an hour, so that's three slots for me, because everything I do is in 20 minutes. So that's three slots of absolutely any revision I want to do. And at that point in time, I can decide what I want to revise. So basically, I'm just planning out what time I'm gonna do everything in, not necessarily what subjects. But if you wanna plan out the subjects that you wanna do, then do that like the morning before you're gonna do it. Um, I wouldn't recommend planning it like the week ahead because then by the time it gets to there, you won't, you know, your plans might have changed, you might be going out somewhere or you might just wanna revise something different. So I'd recommend just planning daily rather than weekly for that. Get up at a reasonable time so that you have plenty of time during the day. I say, you know, get up in the morning at a reasonable time because I would say like on a weekend, you can get up anywhere between like seven to nine o'clock it's up to you um i think even getting up at nine is a reasonable time some people i know um will not get up till like 12 and to be fair if i got up at 12 i would be seriously ill um i think the latest i get up is nine o'clock um if any later than that then i'm like what the hell's wrong with me <laughs> um so yeah it just gives you know, you want time in the morning to revise as well as time in the afternoon. So try and get up at nine o'clock um, or earlier if you can. Have your breakfast, get ready for the day, you know, just put a little bit of makeup on. Not like me today, but I was filming. So, and I am going out tonight um, to my friend Leanne's house because it's her birthday yesterday, just saying. Um, anyway, complete sidetrack. Where was I? Um, oh yeah. And then you've got the morning to revise, which I think is always needed. And even if you do like 40 minutes, you know, it's still better than doing nothing. So yes, and it just kind of breaks up your, your times because you've got lunch in between. Next one is eat healthy and drink water so it will make you feel good. And have the treat at, and have a treat at the end of the week like a takeaway. So eating healthy and drinking lots of water and just you know being generally quite healthy is something that makes me feel so much better. It's almost like a control thing and an organization thing. If I know that I'm being very organized with how healthy I'm eating, I feel in my head very organized and it makes me want to, I don't know, it makes me more motivated with my, my work as well. I think the more motivated you are with one aspect of your life, the more motivated you will be with everything else. Um, so try and just, you know, don't think, oh, I'm focusing on revision, so I'm gonna let my eating habits slip. That doesn't really work. I think both at the same time is, you know, better. Yeah, and also having a treat, like a takeaway on the weekend, that's just an example. Like, I'm not saying you have to have a takeaway every single week, but um, just a little treat here and there. And maybe you could treat yourself to one little treat a day. I, whenever like YouTubers or people said, oh, have little breaks and treat yourself, have some treats. I thought, well, you know, I don't want to get fat. So why the hell would I want to keep treating myself? Because to me, putting on weight is not a treat. Um, so I found these. These are Chupa Chups um, sugar-free lollipops. I found these the other day and I thought these were perfect. So they have like 20 calories in them, no sugar, and they're just lollipops and it's a really nice treat. It's a good treat because it will last you about 15 minutes to eat this, depending on whether you bite it or not, but it is a lollipop. Um, and it's just, you know, you can sit there having your little treat. You feel like you are having a really good treat because it's lasting long and it tastes absolutely the same as if it had sugar in it. And you know, it just makes you feel good. So I would recommend getting those because they taste really, really nice. Um, literally you can't tell that they don't have sugar in them. And just as little treats. Um, and I got those from Tesco. 
My next one is do one workout every day to release endorphins um, and make you feel energized and motivated. So I like to do a workout every single day. I notice that if I work out every day, I am so much more motivated to be organized. I have a specific time each day that I actually work out at and I work out at six o'clock every single day just before I eat my food and I have a very specific routine. I will do 10 to 15 minutes of um, an ab workout or a bum workout or a leg workout and I will watch a video of someone on YouTube, usually it's Rebecca Louise. Um, then I will do five minutes of my own kind of routine in my head. I have my kettlebells, um, they're only three kilograms each so you know they're the kind of things that you don't, you know, lift up like that because that's the easiest thing ever. They're the kind of thing that you use whilst you're working out. So I'll do like hold them and I'll do some squats and stuff like that for about five minutes um, and like swing them around and stuff like that. And then I will do four minute HIIT workout by Lucy Wyndham Reed. Um, and it's just cardio for four minutes, um, which is obviously, you know, re releasing those endorphins really, really good. And then I'll do five minutes stretching. Um, for flexibility so I'll do some flexibility exercises and that just takes me approximately 20 to 30 minutes really and I really enjoy it uh, that routine is like I don't know it's something that I really love doing and I'm excited to do my workout and then once I've done that I feel really motivated to a eat healthy b work out more and c do more revision um, and it's just part of my daily routine. So when it, when, you know, it's like a habit, I just keep doing it because that's what I've always done. Um, so yeah, I really like doing that. And the good thing about working out is it does release endorphins, which means that it makes you feel um, so much better and more positive and just more kind of happy. Um, so yeah, I'd recommend doing that. Even if it's not half an hour of your day, even if it's like five, 10 minutes, it's still better than nothing. Maybe some skipping outside. Recently, I have actually been going out in the evenings as well as doing my workout. Um, I've been going out in the evenings and doing skipping for like five, 10 minutes. Skipping is an incredible cardio workout. It's very, very good. Um, and I would recommend doing it. Okay, my next thing is plan things in the evening with friends so that you have fun, but also have the whole day to revise in. So basically, if you, you know, if you get stuck at home kind of revising every single day, you kind of feel like you're a bit like, Ugh, I don't know, like left out of the world, you kind of get sucked into the world of revision and you feel like, whoa, where is everyone? Hey, the boiler just came on. Um, then I would recommend planning things with your friends in the evening so that you have the whole day to revise. This is on a weekend or, you know, if you're on study leave. Um, and then in the evenings, you can go out and have fun. And it just means that you can look forward to that during the day and it will keep you nice and motivated. Even if you plan things in the evenings of a school day, do your work during the school day, do, I don't know, a couple of hours revision when you get home, and then, you know, go to the cinema in the evening, something like that. It just means that you've still got things planned um, and you're still having fun, but you are also revising. So try and make time for things and be clever with your time making. Okay, keep checking your revision timetable and making changes to it to keep on top of it. So as I've already mentioned, making a revision timetable, but make sure that whilst you're revising, you are keeping on top of your revision by checking your timetable, making sure that you're not extremely behind, ticking things off. Um, on my revision timetable on my laptop, I can actually tick things off, which means that I feel so much better about it when I do tick things off. Um, and it's just like an accomplishment. Um, so that's what, you know, I would recommend doing and making sure that if you need to update it for any reason to fit other things in that you do that. Um, keep reminding yourself that all you can do is try your best to, to not, Okay, do things like yoga um, and take time to just think to yourself. So I don't do yoga um, because my time to think to myself is watching YouTube videos. So that is obviously like another one, watch YouTube videos to just keep time to yourself. But just a time of the day where you're not talking to anybody, you're not on your phone, you might be just watching something and focusing on that. 